Today marks three years since Avengers Endgame came out, and I thought I'd do something special for it. I'm just gonna put this right over here. Today, we're going to be looking at this PowerPoint that I made to show my parents a few days before Avengers Endgame came out. All right, here it is. A guide to Avengers Endgame. I haven't opened this since April 21st, 2019. It's currently, I'm filming this on April 21st, 2022. Wow, that's weird. Who will be in Avengers Endgame? I don't know, guys. I don't know. All right. The original Avengers. First of all, the original Avengers from the movie in 2012 will be in Endgame. They consist of Tony Stark, Captain America, Thor, Black Widow, Hulk, and Hawkeye. Who else will be in Endgame? Other characters that will be in Endgame will be Rocket Raccoon, Nebula, Ant-Man, Captain Marvel, Okoye, War Machine, Pepper Potts, Happy Hogan, Wong, and Valkyrie. Oh, and then I have the pictures. I remember when these posters came out. Does anyone else remember this? I was so hyped. And then when the grayed out versions came out, I just wanted to cry. All right. Who will be coming back in Endgame? All right, let's see how wrong I was. <laughs> oh no! I always start off with this tragic photo. Oh my gosh. What will happen to all the characters who turn to dust? As you know, half of the characters turned to dust in the last movie, Infinity War. Marvel confirmed them all dead, but many have more solo movies coming out, so we know they're not dead for sure. Most people believe everyone who has turned to dust will return and will not remain dead. I was right about that. What about the characters who died but didn't turn to dust? No! Oh my gosh, why? Will they return? Vision. Many people are wondering if Vision will return or not. I think that Vision will 100% be alive after Endgame. <laughs> Disney Plus streaming service already confirmed him his own post-Endgame show for 2021. Man, uh... Gamora. We all know Gamora was sacrificed by Thanos in order to get the Soul Stone. Most likely she will be back. <laughs> because she is confirmed in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in theaters 2021. Yeah, it did not come out, it's, it's 2023 now. Um, do you see this little thing called a pandemic happened? Also, many fans think she is stuck in the Soul Stone, but it's just a theory. Oh, the theory where they got stuck in the Soul Stone. There was a theory that Gabora was stuck in the Soul Stone, and then there was a theory that all of the people that got snapped were. Those, all the memes from that, I loved that. That was a great time. Loki. Oh gosh. Loki, this is by far the biggest debate that has been going around in the Marvel community for the past year. Will Loki be back? I will go into more detail later. <laughs> but let's just say that like Vision, he has his own Disney Plus post Endgame show confirmed for 2021. I think he will definitely be back. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Who will die in Endgame? All right, let's see what I said. I think if I remember correctly, I thought Captain America was gonna die. Um, many people are debating who is the most likely to die in Endgame. It is rumored that the Russo brothers, the directors, said that only two of the original six Avengers will live. Actually, only two died. My favorite of the six? Dang it. It's fine. It's fine. Many people have been guessing who will die. All right, let's see. Steve Rogers. See, I put Steve Rogers first. I was in denial. Oh my gosh. Oh, seven. Most people think Captain America is the most likely character to die in Avengers Endgame. There is a lot of evidence supporting this. Let's see my evidence. <laughs> okay, here's a tweet from Chris Evans. Officially wrapped on Avengers 4. It was an emotional day to say the least. Playing this role over the last eight years has been an honor. To everyone in front of the camera, behind the camera, and in the audience, thank you for the memories, eternally grateful. You see, he was done kind of playing, well, he was done playing the role, but he didn't die, he just kind of went back in time and became old. I mean, I don't think I would have guessed that, honestly, to be fair. And then, I said, and then there's this quote where it says, after Chris Evans on his experience of watching Endgame for the first time, it says, I choked up like three times. 
Tony Stark. No! Dang it! Why did the... Oh my gosh. The second most predicted death is Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. said he's looking to retire and the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer doesn't have him in it. Gosh, guys. This broke me. I was not ready for this. In spring of 2019, I heard people saying he was gonna die, but I just thought it was unlikely. I'm like, yeah, he is it in the trailer, but it's a Spider-Man movie. Like, maybe he'll just have a cameo in it. I didn't really think too much about it. I thought, I was so set on Steve dying. I like Steve Rogers, don't get me wrong. Even though I'm Team Iron Man, I still like Team Cap. I don't hate them. I like think they were both wrong. I think Natasha was right. Why is the Tesseract important? Let's see what I said. The Tesseract was thrusted into the ice at the end of Captain America, the first Avenger by Red Skull, 1940s. Dr. Lawson from Captain Marvel finds the Tesseract in the 1990s. True. Remember Carol Danvers absorbs an explosion from the Tesseract, giving her powers, 1990s. After the events of Captain Marvel, Nick Fury takes the Tesseract to S.H.I.E.L.D. where Dr. Eric Selvig studies it, 1990s to 2011. At the end of the first Thor movie, Loki falls into a black hole. Later you find out Loki is found by Thanos who and controls him, 2011. Thanos sends Loki to, to Earth to steal the Tesseract from S.H.I.E.L.D. 2012. Loki loses and the Tesseract is taken to Asgard 2012. The Mind Stone, which was in Loki's staff, was co confiscated and later used to create Vision 2015. Loki takes the Tesseract with them after Asgard explodes. Thanos is able to track them and threatens to kill Thor unless the Tesseract Space Stone is handed over 2017-2018. As far as we know, Thanos currently is in possession of the Tesseract or Space Stone 2018-2019. Well, he was, but he kind of made... Insert that meme. Major fan theories. <sighs> the Ant-Man theory, if you know, you know. Ant-Man will defeat Thanos? So basically someone started this thing where they said Thanos would get defeated by Ant-Man climbing into his butt. This theory exploded. Memes were everywhere and the directors even started embracing it as a joke, claiming they spoiled the ending. Obviously this isn't true, just a joke that has been going around. That was a great theory though, I love that. Loki, dead or alive? <sighs> I was too passionate about this. I was, oh my gosh. This is a little analysis I put together. Disclaimer, I do not own several of the theories in this analysis. I am simply just breaking them down and analyzing them more closely. I will not be mentioning the Hulk theory, which is very popular. I think that it has good points, but many flaws, so I will be disconcluding, disincluding it altogether. Some reason people thought, I can't remember exactly because it's been three years, people thought that Oh, people thought that Loki was actually posing as Bruce Banner because when Bruce got sent back to Earth from the Asgardian ship, people thought somehow Loki was posing as him and that's why he couldn't transform into Hulk. Um, but yeah, that wasn't true and that's why I didn't include it. Uh, the mirror image theory. This theory was originally by Rad Karth One. The theory basically states that Loki is right-handed and that he uses his left hand to stab Thanos. The only other time he uses his left hand dominantly was when Loki faked his death in the second Thor movie. Was this because both times Loki was using a mirror image of himself? Well, I decided to take a little deeper and found some evidence backing the theory. In the, in, the, in the first image, you can see that Loki's clearly holding the dagger with his left hand. I'm sorry. In the second image, you can see that moments before, Loki is holding the Tesseract with his right hand. The MCU seems to always have Loki as a right hand dominant character. It doesn't make sense for him to try to stab Thanos with his left hand. You're all clowns. It's okay, guys. I was clown. You were clown. We were all clowns. Loki's distraction. Look how freaking long this is. Was I okay? I know I was not okay. Loki's distraction. During the first 10 minutes of the movie, a lot goes down. Loki is in denial of Thanos about having the Tesseract. He finally gives in only to save his brother during these few minutes. Loki is very nervous and uneasy. He's very clear with his words and tells Thor that the sun will shine on us again. Yeah, see what happened with that? Like, come on, that, come on. If so, lo Thor Love and Thunder, Loki season two, hello, hello. I don't know guys, I don't know what happened with that. It's been three years, no answers still. 
Loki uses Hulk as a distraction. Hulk fights Thanos and loses. During this time, Loki disappears for a while. This is very suspicious. Where did he go? Well, when he comes back, he is no longer nervous or uneasy. Instead, Loki is cocky and daring. He's all smiles and confident. Why the sudden mood swing? Then Loki tries to stab Thanos with his left hand using a tiny dagger and ultimately fails. He is choked to death. I put quotations. To death. <laughs> okay. And thrown before his brother. But this doesn't seem right. We all know that Loki is smart. He is cunning and intelligent. He knew that he had no chance at killing Thanos with the dagger, let alone with his non-dominant hand. It seems like a bad decision on his part, but there could be more to this than you think. Oh my gosh, this is so long. I'm so sorry. I was very passionate about this, as you can tell. Hyperfixations, they be like that. Hulk was a distraction. During Loki's time off screen, he could have easily put a plan he had into action. He could have escaped, and his mere image could have walked out and confronted Thanos. This is why he would have been more cocky and daring. He knew Thanos couldn't actually hurt, let alone kill him, if this was only just a clone. Also, Loki is smart. He knew he couldn't cause much damage by stabbing Thanos. It was a weak attempt, surely, to get him killed. I think that Loki knew that if he did this, he would die, and that's exactly why he did it. Oh my gosh. Why would I suggest such a thing? I suggest it because didn't- I suggest it because Loki didn't want Thanos to see him as a threat. Thanos would want him eliminated and out of the picture. So if Loki wanted to try to make a difference and save the day for once, he would have to make Thanos think of him as not a threat. What better way to do this than to have Thanos think you are dead? Then he would think of you as- no threat whatsoever. Loki could be out there in the MCU with a plan. He could have something we didn't see coming. Well, Loki watched himself get choked. Oh my. See this image? Oh, um, this image gave me so much hope. So much false hope. It was like that Hawkeye meme like, Whoops. After Infinity War came out on DVD, the resolution was much better quality. People were able to notice something in the background of Loki's death scene. Yes, I put quotes. There was a figure watching from outside the ship. The figure in some ways could have possibly resembled Loki. It could be Loki in his cape wearing his helmet. Also, during the choke scene, Loki is not directly looking at Thanos. Instead, he's looking to his left in the direct direction of the figure. I spelled direction wrong, it's fine. Was the figure actually Loki and was he watching the mirror? His it, was the figure actually Loki and was he watching his mirror image or clone being choked by Thanos? I don't know. It could be rubble or debris, but it could be something more. Maybe Marvel wanted us to see that figure. I don't think it was there in the background for no reason whatsoever, especially in the specific scene. It was there in the background for no reason whatsoever in that specific scene. All of the black and white posters are characters who died. Most people believe these 16 will be returning, including Loki. <laughs> Guys, I literally put an arrow. I was too much. More of my evidence. Jeremy Conrad of Marvel has some very suspicious tweets about Loki. Oh, screenshots from set, and there's a reason for that. It's not a flashback. Yeah, it wasn't a flashback. It was time travel. Why did you have to lead us on like that? Why did you have to do us so dirty? Like, you weren't lying, but man, you knew we were looking for crumbs. The Marvel fandom was searching for scraps. It was a year of waiting, and you drop this and expect us not, not to... Okay, yeah, it's fine. Also, Tom Hiddleston's makeup artist confirmed him on the set. Yeah, he was in the movie. In 2018, I remember seeing him on the cast list for Untitled Avengers film. Now he is not there. This is very suspicious because there are a ton of set pictures to prove he is in the movie. Seems like they're trying to be sneaky. This was like the screenshot I took on my phone where I circled that it said he was in there. Ant-Man? Oh no, is this the Loki's Ant-Man theory? Oh my gosh. At the end of Ant-Man, Scott got stuck in the quantum realm. No one knows where he is. Then all of a sudden, he shows up in the Endgame trailers. Well, the Endgame trailers are from the first 15 minutes of the movie, and a lot of the footage in them is fake. Are they really going to save Scott in the first 10 minutes? There is another possibility, though. It was a five-year time skip, and a rat saved everybody. Imagine if I told that to younger me. Imagine what she would think right now. She would be so shocked. She would be confused. She would cry, probably. Maybe Loki is Ant-Man. If you break down the trailer, there are a lot of convincing pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh! I told you guys I was something else. I have more! I have more! What? What more should I know about Endgame? Let's see what I said. Rumor, Avengers Endgame's runtime is reportedly finalized at three hours and two minutes. Yeah, that was true. It was three hours. 
Chris Hemsworth says he's happy to come back and play Thor again in future MCU movies. I heard that a pitch has happened for another Thor film. I don't know how real that intel is, but I hear that the pitch has happened. I think the idea is Taika Waititi would come back. Well, Thor Love and Thunder comes out July 8th. The trailer just dropped. Hey, I was right about something. That's a win. This is a win. Remember, Tony and Steve still hate each other. And the reason everyone died in Infinity War was because they were not working together. But I, I do recall, I think I saw this in like an interview with like the Russo brothers. I watched so many of their interviews back then looking for every little scrap. Guys, I would watch so many interviews. And now I don't even remember what happened to these interviews I watched. Oh, that's the trailer, but I'm not showing this because copyright. But if you want to see it, it is on the Marvel YouTube channel. I think I watched this in a Walmart parking lot after school. I, I just got out of school and my mom needed to go to Walmart and we pull into the parking lot and I'm like, oh, I'll stay in the car. And I open my phone and this is on my YouTube for you page. And I was like freaking out in the passenger seat in a Walmart parking lot. Good memories, good times. 45 slides. 45 slides, a guide to end game. 45. Also, if anyone wants to know where I got this, I got this at Disneyland, well, California Adventure. It lights up, it lights up. It's so cool. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.